What's up YouTube, welcome back to Celio's Network. Today I'm playing some expanded format on PTCGO with ADP Turbo Dark. Um, this is the list I'm going to play. If you want to take a screenshot real quick or you can just get the exported version in the description below. I've been working with this list since I started testing for expanded. I originally had a Tina EX from Ancient Origins in here. But I feel like ADP and Tina kind of overlap their uses because they're both good versus single prize attacking decks. And uh, so I just cut the Tina for more consistency cards. I think I put in um, like an extra an extra double dragon maybe? Or I know an extra chaotic swell. I put in an extra chaotic swell for the Tina because um, I wasn't really using it in the same games as ADP and I'd rather just use ADP. Uh, so I think this deck is like really obvious, but it's also really solid. If Eggrel still be stays popular, uh, then we're going to want to put a Weavile GX or some other evolution Pokemon in. So we don't just auto lose to Vileplume or maybe a couple Hoods, but they can just remove Hoods. So that's not as useful. Okay, they actually chose for us to go first, interesting, and we have an okay hand. Hmm, they let us go first. They have dragon energy stuff, so maybe they're playing baby ultra necrozma. And indeed they are. So let's go battle comp. Get rid of a Dark Ride GX. Uh, we don't really need to get rid of another Dark Energy, I don't think. Or do we? Let's see. I actually don't want to get rid of this hand, so I think I'm just going to throw an N in there. And then yeah, sure. So if we're not sick, if we're not using Juniper, then uh, <clears throat> I will put the Dark Energy in there, and we can attach Float Stone. I'm gonna hold off on attaching for turn. Hopefully, we can get a Zoro Ninja or an ADP and attach to that. So we got a Zoro Ninja. No energy. We also don't have Draw for next turn. That's pretty unfortunate. Uh, but what we do have is, uh, we can battle comp to make our max elixir odds a little better first. So we'll get rid of a battle compressor. Um, we'll get rid of a Guzmahala. And let's see. We have three versus Seeker in there still. I think we can just get rid of a Guzma because we don't want to see the Guzma right now. Um, and then we'll bench this and go for Max Elixir twice. We hit the first one, that's really good. And we hit the second one, awesome. And then we'll go ahead and restore. And then we'll pass it on over. So our hand is definitely not what we want, uh, but we are swinging for 120 right now with uh, Zoro Ninja. So we can bop a baby Ultra Necrozma with our Zoro Ninja. Oh, they're actually going for the ADP. Hmm. So we could have potentially uh, Max Elixir to the Dark Ride GX and then go for the laser on ADP. Uh, but I'm not sure if it's smart to go Max Elixirs first and see what they're doing. Or, I'm sorry, wait to do the Max Elixirs and see what they're doing or just go ahead and do it. Uh, so this is tricky. We have the Ultra Ball, but we also have our only laser. I just play the one laser. Uh, but we do play Dowsing Machine. Oh, I was going to say we can Ultra Ball for... A draw Pokemon but we cannot because of Silent Lab uh, yeah, this is just not looking great for us 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and we could laser. They might mess them up if they stay asleep. They also only have a one card hand, so we might both be pretty bad off here. So let's go ahead and laser. We did not get heads for the sleep, but that's okay, it happens. I will dark pulse. Okay, the last card in their hand is an N. So right there we could have potentially held on to our laser and then next turn draw a card Ultra Ball away. Field Blower the Silent Lab and Field Blower the Garbatoxin. Um, I wanted to take a shot on the laser though to see if we could put them to sleep since they only had one card in their hand. That could, that could have potentially won us the game right there if they just stayed asleep for a turn. And it looks like they're playing a decent amount of basic energy in this deck. Hmm. So enough that they are ultimate writing a psychic and a steel, and they have a steel on the active. Interesting. Um. <laughs> we'll go for a max elixir, I think, on to Dark Ride GX. Or no? Or do we Ultra Ball and get our own ADP? Okay, let's Ultra Ball. We'll Ultra Ball away this and this. Now the question is, do we go for Ultimate Ray or do we go for Altered Creation? Ultimate Ray... Hmm. Okay, we failed the max elixir. Versus seeker for N, I think. Hmm. Well, if we get rid of their baby ultra necrozma. Yeah, we, we can't versus seeker Guzma, so we have to versus seeker and we need to we need more cards. Swell is pretty good. I don't think we have a reason not to bench this. Just in case we get end or something, we want as many cards out of our hand as possible. And then we will Dark Pulse for the knockout. Okay, so the bad news here is they are going to take four prize cards off of this Zoro Ninja. Um, but what we are going to do is knock them out. We're going to end and knock them out unless they end us here. teammates mm -hmm. <laughs> I wonder if they prepare for next turn or if they get something that's useful for this turn double dragon on the benched one okay so the plan is adding them and hope they can't get a Guzma off of it So end them to two. Promote this since it has float stone. Um, I don't think I have a reason against the fighting fury belt here. 
or against this. And we'll burst the seeker for N. <clears throat> yes. Okay, so we got Ultra Ball Energy Energy. That's not amazing. We'll retreat into this and Ultimate Ray. And we have no energy in the deck. That's not very good. Dark energy off the prizes, that's bad too. Oh gosh. So they're gonna hit us for 200 and get rid of an energy. <laughs> so unless this top deck's good, we lose. It's a double dragon. Which is not good enough because we could uh, either knock this out or retreat. But either way, that does not help us. Because if they didn't have this, if they didn't have an energy on both, we could just attach and go ultimate ray. But that's not the case here. Uh, we can't ultra ball for a support Pokemon because they have Floatstone on the garb. Um, I, we, we could retreat and just stall one turn. Um, but I'm not really sure that we'll ever get anything out of this. So th this is our only play, is just retreat for a turn. They swing 200 in. And we get a Dedenne that we can't use, so that's a scoop there. So that matchup is definitely winnable if we got like a turn one altered creation, um, which we were not able to do that game. And by the time we got ADP going, we had to use ultimate right to take a knockout. Like uh, if we attacked with altered creation there, it just would not have been good enough. Uh, because so we would have done altered creation and they get rid of our uh, double dragon energy right away before we even get a chance to attack with ultimate ray. We'll be going first this time, starting out with a mulligan. Okay, not a great hand. Could be a good hand very easily if we just like get a supporter or a battle compressor or an ultra ball. Lots of things that can help. We got a Zoro Ninja. Um, and we're playing against. This is probably Dark Box. So, or Turbo Dark. I guess it might be a mirror. So, I'm going to go ahead and bench Zoro Ninja. Do I attach, or do I attach here and we can go ultimate, right? Because if we're playing a mirror match, uh, altered creation doesn't matter too much, but ultimate, uh, altered creation doesn't really matter, but ultimate raid does. So, I'm just going to go ahead and attach here. We'll go for the turn two ultimate, right? Our main concern here is if our opponent can uh, apply a special condition to our active and then dark NGX or dead NGX. That would be uh, that would look like a loss right there. Uh, I don't think we would be coming back from that with this hand. So they're going with battle compressor. Just 
still going in with that battle compressor. There we go. So we got a Dark Ride GX, two Dark Ride GX, and a Dark Energy. So it looks like they're playing kind of a classic Turbo Dark build with the Sky Field and the the FCO Mu and a Weavile GX line to uh, counter Edgar Allan Pyroar, kind of like I was talking about earlier. So if this is a kind of a classic Turbo Dark, I think it's actually very likely that they could dead end GX us here turn one, which as I said would not be very good for us. And there's a dark patch of two energy on the Dark Ride GX without an attachment for turn. They have Shaman and Hand draw five, they just need a laser or whatever they're using to apply uh, special condition it's usually hypnotoxic laser and then a dark energy or a dark patch or a max elixir there's the laser and we might just be losing in a turn here max elixir and they hit it so let's see if our top deck can save us here Well, they actually hit two max elixirs there. They still haven't attached for turn, so maybe they don't have a supporter in hand, but they're getting a three prize turn one here. Battle Compressor again, probably just to get a Dark Energy in there and thin the deck. Looks like it was a Dark, two Darks, and it might have just been the two Darks. And then they have a Sycamore in hand, it's their last card. Looking very promising for them, and uh, quite the opposite on our end. Another Max Elixir, geez. Okay, so they haven't attached for turn still, and they've got a modest six energy on board. Our ADP is very poisoned. And they're still going. It just does not stop here. Wow, a shaman. So I think they're digging for their attachment from hand for turn to get a 7th energy on the board. Unless they're holding the Shaman for next turn. Oh, there it is. So, 7 energy. And there's the Shaman. Uh, down to, what, a 17 card deck already? Yeah, 17 cards. So, we've got... Uh, we had the pleasure of just watching our opponent pop off for 5 minutes here. Hoping that we could hang on. Um, when it all gets ended by... Oh man, a Mars Shadow GX. They just have the whole world in their hands here. An eighth energy is welcoming itself to the board. And at this point, we just ask ourselves why are we not playing the deck our opponent's playing? Because that deck looks really good. Okay, Dead End GX, they take three prize cards, and let's see if we can do a bit of anything here. We got an N. Okay. So, I don't even know what I want to do. Um, we could get the Free Retreat Dark Rye, uh, so we could attach this energy here. 
Um, I think we just want to empty our hand and N and see what can happen. Maybe we can pop off too. And that is not going to be the case because we have five cards that we cannot play at all and a Shaman. We have an Ultra Ball now. Um, I mean, we could Dedenne here and get rid of all these resources, but we are playing... Uh, if we play four Dark Patch and three Elixir, so we could uh, hit two other Dark Patch and two other Elixir. It could happen. I'm not saying it should or it will, but it, it could. Uh, or we can just get the Shaman, right? Shaman, double dark patch. So we, if we draw like Zoro Ninja, Free Retreat, Darkrai, and the Dene here, uh, I think we're off to the races. Okay, close. We drew none of them. Uh, yeah, that's. We're just gonna scoop them up here because they can just knock out our Zoro Ninja next turn. Um, yeah, that was uh, not fun, but sometimes your opponent pops off and you don't. I probably could have held out a little longer in that game, but it's kind of frustrating to, like, fight against a deck where you're pretty sure you're going to lose because they have 8 energy, I think, or 9 energy on the board. I think it was 8. And they have the Marshadow GX, uh, which just needs one attach and an elixir. Or one attach and evolve Weavile GX and then we just lose right away. As if they get the Weavile GX, we're just done. So we'll play one more game with the deck since that one did not go very well. Okay, this is fine. Start with the Free Retreater Darkrai. And so far we've hit two meta decks, so knock on wood that we are not going to hit another meta deck. This is not... Okay. Uh, whew. Looks like we're playing against Megalodios. Yeah, Megalodios. Okay. Very interesting. Oh my. And they just scoop because they see a dark... Pokemon across from them. Okay, so I lied. We'll play one more because that does not count, but uh, it's pretty funny that uh, I spoke a non-meta deck into existence right there. Fighting Psychic Dark Grass. Um, hmm. I mean, it could... No, it can't be Turbo Dark because I don't know what grass Pokemon they would have. So this might be something a little wacky again. Oh, uh, it could be... No, it could... Not Archies, right? I don't think Archies has Dark in it. Okay, not bad. Let's see what we're dealing with here. They might just give us two non-meta decks in a row because I asked nicely. Okay, Toad. Could definitely be a real deck looking at us here. It could be Zoro Toad, I guess. I think it had all the colors for that. Psychic Dark. Water grass, and I also had fighting, so that could be the pseudo widow. Yeah, it might be Zoro Toad, so that's fine. That's a real deck. We'll take this matchup. Mm hmm. 
could be a Zoro Toad. And no turn one supporter. They might have Sycamore in hand and they don't want to get rid of things. Um, that's kind of how they played that because they didn't get uh, draw Pokemon with Ultra Ball. Alright, let's see what we will do here. Um, we could go Tag Call. I think we grab the AD Pizzle. And Goose Mahala. And we'll just pitch the Ultra Balls. Grab a Stone, a Swell, and no DDE because we have that in our hand already. Play down the Swell, we'll Elixir here, fail it, and the Dene GX. Okay, some reasonable cards here, but not exactly what we want to see. We do hit the Max Elixir, and I think I'll set up for two, maybe? Or do I just hold this? I'd like to get a Zora Ninja down, but maybe it's not necessary. We have we have Supporter and a Versus Seeker in hand, so uh, we'll just Altered Creation here, I think. And then next turn we go for the Zora Ninja. Actually, we're not going to get to play items next turn. Hmm. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's dig a little deeper. Let's not make any hasty decisions here. So we'll set up. Okay, beautiful. So Ultra Ball these two away, we keep our N. Um, actually, we could have gotten rid of one Dark Energy, but we weren't going to use the Versus Seeker, and we weren't going to use the Shaman. But we... Yeah, I don't think I wanted either of those more than a Dark Energy. Now, here we could either Ultimate Ray Energy onto uh, Zoro Ninja, or we could Altered Creation. Um, I'm trying to think, if we don't Ultimate Ray, there's no way we attack with Zoro Ninja next turn, because we can't use items. So, maybe we just Ultimate Ray here and put pressure on them. Uh, we don't need to Altered Creation. I think that's what we do. Because I think it's it's either do we not knock out the Toad next turn, or do we... It's either do we not knock out the Toad next turn, and we get to take an extra prize when we do, or do we start putting pressure on them and knock it out next turn. And I think we want to knock it out next turn. And put the pressure on. So two energy here. Um, I th think to be on the safe side in case they like hammer or something we can put an energy on the active uh, Or I think in that case we just want to draw into a double dragon energy, but it gives us an extra out um, I mean I guess they could like enhanced hammer team flare grunt. We don't exactly know what they have going on uh, We have free retreat because of dark Rai EX I think it's fine to just attach to the bench because of our free retreat we can pretty much get out of whatever happens here uh, especially we have chaotic swell so they can't drop a silent lab there is the enhanced timer and a field blower I take everything back they could drop a silent lab here they could just ruin our day Colorus for five, so that was the supporter they were holding on to. Got a Zorak GX off of five. A laser. They flip heads. Okay, things are starting to go kind of well for my opponent now. So they got 
everything they wanted there. Let's see if we wake up. And that just kind of ruins it all for them. So we woke up and that's really bad for them. Um, we will attach here. And I don't want to give them a new hand, so we're just going to jam a juniper. And we can't use items, of course. Play down the swell, retreat for free. And Zoro Ninja time. So this is one of the main strengths of the deck, just the aggression that we can put out with it. Uh, we're doing... 210 damage turn two now with a basic pokemon for just two energy and they scoop so uh slower decks like that have a hard time handling it uh, but like i said i am considering the weavile gx if i think there's going to be a lot of egg row around for dallas regionals that's what we're testing for here and i'll just throw the deck up on the screen one more time for everyone in case uh you uh fast forward through it in the beginning or whatnot so <clears throat> one more time there's the deck and i'll also put it in this in, in the description below um shout out to my sponsors potonstore.com and also flipside flipsidegaming.com where i write weekly free articles you can use code celio at either place uh all caps celio for 10 percent off at flipsidegaming.com uh non-case sensitive celio for five percent off at potonstore.com be sure to like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and i'll see you next time here on celio's network